until I see it, right? Mm -hmm. One evening of the first Sunday after Jesus was crucified, his disciples were together in a locked room, and they were afraid that those who had crucified Jesus would also put them to death. Suddenly, Jesus appeared there in the locked room with the disciples. It was hard to believe, but they saw him, and Jesus showed them his wounds in his hands and on his side. So they knew it was him. Mm -hmm. One of the disciples, whose name was Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus appeared to them. When they told Thomas what they had seen, who was Jesus, he did not believe him. He, he had seen him crucified and buried. How could he be alive? Thomas said, unless I see the wound on his side and put my fingers in the hole where the nails were in his hand, I will not believe it, he said. Mm -hmm. A week later, the disciples were in the locked room again, and this time Thomas was with them. And again, Jesus came and stood among the disciples, and Jesus said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it to my side. Stop doubting and believe, he said. And Jesus fell to his knees as, My Lord, my God! And Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, I have believed. You have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Okay, put your hands together. You and I have never seen Jesus with our own eyes. And the question is, will you be a doubter? Will you be the one who, for those who Jesus said were blessed because they believe or even though they have not seen? Okay, you ready girls and boys? Dear Father, help us believe in our hearts. And the truth we find in the Holy Word, even though we have not seen them with our own eyes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now we're going to stay. We're going to have a little song with Sonia. <laughs> Let me tell you something really quick about these children. I think all but one of them are my grandchildren. <laughs> Okay, real quick, fast, I want to tell you a little little something. We're going to sing a song, which is going to be our song for, um, for uh, whatever you call it. We'll sing the song. Okay, hymn of praise, I'm sorry. Hymn appropriate. And, and in the Bible, it says a story about the children when Jesus was going around talking to all the people in Jerusalem and everywhere. And I believe it's in Matthew um, 19, 13. It says... Some people brought little children to Jesus, wanting them to, him to place their hands on them so they could, he could bless them. And the disciples was trying to scoosh him out of the way, saying, please don't bother this important man. Don't bother him with these little, pesky little, dirty little children. Don't do that. And Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Don't keep them away. The kingdom of heaven belongs to people just like them. Right? Children are honest. Children are loving. Children don't see color. Children don't see disability. Children have friends that they love with their whole heart. We teach them. We teach them to not love people because of how they look and because of what they are and who they are and where they live. We adults, we do that. Children don't see that. Babies don't see that. Babies have a mother when they're little, no matter what color or what they are, and they love them. They grow up loving them, no matter what. So we, if the children grow up like that, it's our fault. We do that. But you as children stay innocent and love each other and be friends and, and don't work, care what the world says. Y'all are like that. And I want to tell y'all a real, real quick story, and then we're going to sing a song for you. Yesterday, we were, yesterday, little one here, little Aubrey, she was a flower girl in a wedding, and so she was, I was doing her hair and getting her ready, and we were talking about her real pretty little dress. It's so pretty. It had little flower petals in it and everything, and I told her, I said, oh, Aubrey, you're so pretty, and everybody knows I've been divorced about 23 years, and I said, oh, you're so pretty. I said, well, you can wear that dress when I get married, and she said, she thought for a minute, and she looked kind of puzzled, and she said, well... Are you and Grandpa going to get married again? And I said, well, now that's not going to happen, I don't think. And she said, well, but that's your husband. And I was like, 
it says in here. I said, I guess, you know, when you're married, you're first married, they look at that as your 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 husband. I and mean, that's your husband. And I, we neither one of us have ever married. I said, I guess you're not going to wear that dress again. <laughs> but, I mean, in their heads, you know, that that's what they're thinking. And I told the same thing to my her brother this morning. And he goes, well, you and Grandpa are going to... I'm like, I don't get it. I just get it. Never mind. I said, never mind. That's not going to work. <laughs> all, all, all things are possible. No. Uh, no. Amen. You're a betting man, no. though. Okay. Before you... Before you um, uh, we'd like to introduce to some and present to others our guest speaker for the hour. Unless Friday we were just treated to one of the best fellowships we've had in a long time here uh, by our elders uh, from the Compre- Native American Comprehensive Plan. Uh, and he told us a story then. Uh, Reverend Fred Shaw is a retired elder from the Western Ohio Conference. He is the chairperson of the Native American Comprehensive Plan. Uh, they met our meeting here in uh, Dallas for their annual meeting, and we hosted them on Friday night, uh, where we just had food and fellowship. And we invited uh, Reverend Fred Shaw to deliver the message this morning uh, so that we could share in what I think is one of the best historians and storytellers that our community provides. So after we hear, Aubrey's going to sing? Well, we're going to all sing. We're going to sing. Okay, okay. After we hear from the children's choir, <laughs> the next speaking voice you will hear will be that of Reverend Fred Shaw. Amen? Amen. All right. Stand up, children. All right. Come. We're going to sing one verse. Jesus loves me. Okay. 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 And then, we'll, then Aubrey's going to do her solo. <laughs> 